All right, everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to how we can both save and open a CSV file or a spreadsheet file. Now, uh, we're going to be using a delimiter of a comma. Of course, you can use whatever you would like, um, typically, but a comma is, I would say, the most commonly used. And what you're seeing here is the simple spreadsheet just showing weapon for our name, the amount of damage it does, and the defense that it has. And this is going to be our example that we're going to use here, our demo that we're going to use. Now, for our script, I just stuck this on a control node. We're going to need a path, which is just going to be a string to our file that we want, our CSV file. Um, data columns we don't need, and data here we're not going to need. So I'll just remove those real quick. There we go. So all we're going to need is a path, and I'm using rows to store my data, as in, as that is how we're going to get our data back. All right, in our ready function, uh, of course, I'm going to print my rows and I'm going to set my rows to a function called get data and pass in the path as an argument. And of course, it's going to come up with an error. So we can go ahead and create a function called get data and have path as an argument. With that, I'm going to create a variable called main data. It's going to be an empty dictionary. Of course, I'm going to use uh, F for my variable for my file. And I'm going to create a new file and open that up. Pass in our arguments of the path, so our CSV file, our spreadsheet, and open that with our read, reading rights. And then we're going to go into a while loop to get every line that's in it. And we're basically going to check for while we're not at the end of our file. Right, so while there's still data in our file, we're going to take a variable called data set. I want to set that equal to array with the get CSV line passed in. And what that does of our file is you can see it returns the next file in the next value in the file in CSV, comma separated values, which again is why we're using commas here. Uh, you could pass in a different delimiter, but commas are default, so, and like I said, the most commonly used. But yes, doing this is going to pass in, basically it's going to get all of our values, all of our values in that line or that row. And then we're going to set that into, we're going to create this into a dictionary. So we're going to take our main data, and then for our number, we're going to get main data dot size. So if we have none, nothing in here yet, then our first entry is going to be zero. If we have one in there, that means our size is one. So we'll have one for the second entry and then two, three, and so on. And we'll set that equal to, of course, the data set variable and close our file. Now we're going to erase the last value in there because it's, uh, I believe completely empty for whatever reason for the last one, we get like an extra line that's empty. Um, so we can just delete or erase that using main data dot erase and pass in size minus one. And then we're just going to use the return keyword here to return the main data. So if we put in get path and pass in our path variable here, this essentially is going to be main data. And that's what we're setting to our rows here in our ready, ready function. So if we were to go ahead and run this, now just ignore what's being shown here. Uh, but if you look down in the output, you see we have zero. So in row zero, we have weapon damage defense. So if we take a look up here, here we go. Row zero is going to be weapon damage defense. Row one is going to be sword 14, seven. Row two is spear 12, five. All right, so we're moving everything that uh, we don't need here, going into our save function. 
So we're going to take everything that we have in here. As you see inside of our text edit note, this is how you want your data to be laid out. Uh, regardless of how you have it. Or where you're going to store it. Whether it's off screen or whatever. This is how we want it written out. So we'll have weapon, comma, damage, comma, defense. And then we'll go to a new line. Sword, comma, 14, comma, 7. Go on to a new line. Because remember, each new line is its own individual row. And each row, as you see here, needs its own set of data. And we're splitting each column by a comma. So we got the first, uh, first column here, and then a comma, second column, comma, and then our third column. So this is what we started with to begin with. And then we should have one that has two additional values here, or two additional rows fully filled out. And to do that, we can just use create a function called save CSV. We're going to create a new variable, of course, of course, F for file. We're going to open up our new file here, which I'm calling find demo underscore change. And you want the right permissions. And we're just going to use F dot store line and store the text that we have in here. So we're going to store this data and then close our file. And now you see if I run that, that'll get itself saved. And now I can open it up. And as you see, compared to our first one, we indeed do have two additional rows in there fully filled out. So the key here, it's not very difficult to save it, but when saving it, you just got to make sure that you have your data properly formatted when you want to save it. And getting it from a dictionary is a little different, or turning it into a dictionary, your data, in order to work with it is a little different to what you might be used to if you've opened up files before, but it's not too difficult, but there's how you do it.